Welcome to Drum LCK. My name is John, and today we're going to tune up these four snare drums exactly the same to find out which one we like most. Let's go. All right, first we're going to take a look at this custom snare drum from Pork Pie Percussion. It is a painted shell with powder-coated purple hardware all the way around. The strainer looks really cool. Obviously, it's a custom order. Triple flange hoops, maple drum. So if we're going to make all these drums sound the same, our first step is going to have to be tuning everything the same. And the only way to really make sure they're exactly the same is by using the tune bot. So we're going to do that. I'm also going to use this white lithium grease just in case any of the lugs need some lube. You're going to need a drum key and some sticks. We're also going to need to put the same drum head on each drum. And today we're going to be using the Remo Emperor X coated just because I had four of them lying around. So if you take a look right here, you're gonna see it says F3. I wrote that there, obviously. And it just means at some point I tune this to an F of the third octave. So I guess that's what we're gonna go with today and tune them all up. So I just checked out the TuneBot app and that's telling me to get an F3. I need to tune the top head to 240 Hertz and the bottom head to 359 Hertz. Now, when you're tuning a drum, it's important to remember that the top head, the batter head here, when you hit your batter head, this head creates one note, which also vibrates this bottom head, creating a different note. And those aren't either of the notes you hear. When the notes meet together in the center of the drum, they combine to create what's called the fundamental note. And that's what you're actually hearing. So we need to know and understand which notes each the top and bottom head need to be at to create the right fundamental note of F for us in this case. All right, so once you have the head off, it's the perfect opportunity to make sure nothing's loose inside the drum. Make sure you're not really, if you're dealing with a wood drum, make sure you're not touching everything that's important too. You don't wanna get your the oils from your skin all in the drum. All right, everything looks good, so we're gonna throw the new head on there. I like to line the badge up with the logo, just like that. Seating the head here. All right, now remember, we're going to get this number to 240, all the way around. Pretty close. All right, we got 240 all the way around. Now I'm not gonna change the bottom heads because I've recently changed all of them. All right, I brought the batter head up to 260 after a quick ear test. Let's check this out. Next up, we have this beautiful DW Collector's Snare. Um, very heavy drum. As always, DW has the best hardware. I can't get over how heavy it is. Beautiful drum all the way around. All right, let's tune her up. All right, 260. Sounds good to me. Next up, I have a 1966 Ludwig Superphonic. I love this drum. It's a little beat up, yeah, but it's super old. What do you expect? Um, it's just a workhorse. The, uh, the strainer here is not very great. I have to adjust it pretty much every song, but I just love this drum and I don't want to change anything out for modern parts. Now this one also has a newer head on it, so I'm not going to change it, but we're still going to tune it up like the others, and it is the exact same drum head. Next up, we have the most expensive of the bunch, but it is a beautiful SJC Custom Snare. Pretty cool, I got to pick the colors. These lugs are great, beautiful, I love the strap. All the way around, looks good. Trick switch, love it. All right, now let's take them to the kit and see what they sound like.
so I started editing this video and it's the first time I also got to see these four snares compared back to back like that. And honestly, I'm a little surprised at which one I would pick to be my favorite. So I actually would pick the DW at this tuning. Obviously, they're all going to be different at different tunings. But uh, I'm surprised at that because it's probably the snare I use the least amount. Um, so I think I'm going to be bringing it to my gig tonight. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. Make sure you remember to hit the like and subscribe button. You know the deal. And until next time, take care.